Hello everyone. You are listening to this audiobook on channel Voice of Purpose by NSS IIT Bombay. Today, let's discuss about ergonomics. But what really is ergonomics? Ergonomics is the study of people in their working environment. The key principle is designing an environment where people feel comfortable. It looks into the safety of people in the workplace. The ergonomists try to understand and develop systems that suit best to all people. Now, let's look into why ergonomics is important. Poor ergonomics can lead to chronic repetitive stress injuries such as carpal tunnel, back, neck or joint pain. Improper ergonomics is one of the most significant workplace risks faced by office workers. A study was conducted by the Norwegian State Institute. They found that after common cold, muscular soreness was the second most common cause of being absent at work. They also found that if improvements are made to workstation design and seating, the rate of employees leaving the business or going on long-term leave declined. Ergonomic injuries have a significant impact on both the individual and the organization as a whole. Therefore, folks, we see that it is really important to design the workspace in such a way that the workers feel comfortable and can work safely. Ergonomics can be broadly divided into three major categories, physical ergonomics, psychological ergonomics, and organizational ergonomics. Physical ergonomics examines the ways in which our bodies interact with the tools we use on a daily basis. It primarily focuses on injury prevention and quality issues. Psychological ergonomics broadly looks into the mental health and well-being of people in the workplace. Ergonomists study how people interact with products, systems, and the environment like human-computer interaction, cultural differences, stress, and motivation. Organizational economics is about optimizing organizational policies. This includes establishing good communication, staff resource management, working time management, and cooperative work. Let's see how an ergonomically designed workspace can prove to be really beneficial to both the employees and employers. The most important is the overall health benefit. Employees tend to stay healthy in general, which reduces absenteeism. Designing a working environment that encourages good posture and is less exerting makes the workstation more efficient. When people feel comfortable, they can focus on high quality production. And honestly, who doesn't want to maximize their work output? Therefore, the key is a good ergonomic solution that can boost productivity by nearly 10 to 15 percent. It also creates an improved understanding and awareness leading to safety-oriented culture. Healthy employees are the most valuable asset to the company. Creating and fostering a healthy culture within the company leads directly to an increased level of organizational structure. So, now as students, what measures can we take? Here are some tips that you could follow. First, while writing, especially for long periods, remember to take breaks and check your posture. 
it is very important to maintain a good back posture or we could end up with a sore back and neck also make sure that the pens and pencil you use work well to minimize the amount of pressure you need to apply while writing always remember to take short breaks and stretch often as it can help reduce soreness and finally the most important of all stay hydrated thank you so hope you guys had fun please like share and subscribe to this channel for more interesting audiobooks